The things that keep us busy is, yeah, definitely growth is, is right up there at the top. And we are always trying to sort of um, manage our system and manage the capacity in the best way we can. So even though the population may grow, traffic patterns may shift due to construction or due to some major change. And um, that doesn't necessarily mean there's more cars going through there, just they go through there in a different way. So one thing that we're constantly working on is how can we best utilize the uh, roadway network that we have? And what is the most efficient way we could get somebody from point A to point B, typically their home to work or their home to shopping uh, with, with as minimal delay as possible? You know, as we go forward, we're, we're looking at areas where we got growth, areas where we have existing problems. And we're also looking towards the future and even looking at what we have existing wise, what we can do to modify that to help it flow better, such as around the Washington Road, Bobby Jones area. So um, there's a lot going on. I mean, if you look at what our transportation network and our ability, you know, the number of signals have gone from, I think, about 20 traffic signals 10, 15 years ago to now we're you know, in 70. And it's because of the growth and, and how much you need because, um, to allow that traffic to flow, especially as you get down Washington Road. Um, in our investment in technology, we've really done a good job of embracing it here. We've got adaptive traffic signals, we got cameras at every intersection, and we're able to monitor those. And when we see an issue, we'll, you know, we can address it immediately. Uh, the ITS system, ITS stands for Intelligent Transportation System, and uh, what it is, is we are using uh, fiber optics to uh, create a new network that will connect all of the traffic control devices along the major routes through Richmond County, um, and it'll put them all in one central system. How that'll benefit the public is that um, they will all run off the same time, so whenever we do sort of corridor timing and we try to synchronize the traffic signals, they'll all be running off the same clock, so to speak, and uh, it enables us to, to do that corridor timing in a much more efficient manner. Um. You know, is there frustration out there at times? Yes, but I think we do a good job of managing the whole grid as opposed to, especially in our in our high, more high, highly visible areas. Um, but and we're also looking towards what we what we see potentially on the um, the Fort Gordon side. So you look at more long term I twenty at Louisville Road. You know, we're looking at interchange there. We're getting through D, through uh, Georgia DOT right now and start looking at at those major studies that have to happen. Uh, I know the Ford applied for a grant. To, to get that project done. So I think as you move forward, Columbia County is going to look a lot different in the next 15, 20 years, if not in the next four or five. Um, just be patient with us. Uh, we understand that it's an inconvenience and, and we're all inconvenienced as well. And, and a lot of these projects are very complicated. They're very costly. It takes a long time to build them, especially if you do it right. And so, uh, you know, uh, we do our best to try to communicate where those issues are and how to, how to avoid them if necessary. And so just kind of pay attention to that. And then, like I said, uh, just sort of put up, put up with it for a little while. Because once it is done, it will greatly improve what was there before.